This is Gigamandra. Gigamandra is a medium-sized semi-aquatic herbivore that swims through the water of the Angerboda Peninsula Riverways. They like to make several noises that either animals find relaxing or annoying. Hello everybody, this is Ancient Monster Mods Gigamandra that we're going to check out today. So let's get right into it. This is our male default subspecies. I already love the way he looks. Let's check our next one here. No barbs also female female subspecies that's interesting i can't really tell the difference actually okay so i figured out what the difference is the barbed subspecies is the male and it has these little tiny specks of fur that you probably can't see right here but the non-barbed one does not have that fur you can barely see it but it's not there I'm, I'm sure it's hard for you guys to see but female has no barbs and the males has barbs which is basically just fur also between the male and female skin the female skin just doesn't have dark blue here it's all green but let's go through the calls right quick first up we have broadcast <laughs> Ooh, nice. I like it a lot. To call. Is the little hop giggle threatened? I like that. I feel like that's actually pretty unique compared to most other like threatened calls. Like when most animals threaten, they are always just, you know, big wide mouth, but you got the throat pouch here. He's using both his arms and his tail. I like that a lot. Four call. Ooh, that's personality. You saw the tail swipe over to the right, cover him in the front. That's a lot of personality that I like there. Talk. Oh, it's kind of like uh, Kalekin's broadcast sound, you know, the beak clacking noise, which I guess this is a beak pretty much right here that Gigamandra has. A flat beak, but a beak nonetheless. Shake. A wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I don't know if that's exactly how I would imagine like a creature like this shaking, but to be honest, I've never seen anything like this. It kind of looks like a platypus, but who knows? Look around. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, gave me Pink Panther vibes right there. And then our invite is gonna be the same as our two call. All right, and here's our baby model. I absolutely love the baby skin. It's super cute and very fitting. Uh, the stripes really stand out. But uh, let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have podcast. Oh, that kind of sounds like uh, Dina Kyrus, like their broadcast. Two call. Giggle. I love it. The little squeak. It's like a squeaky toy. Threaten. Back off. Back off. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's hilarious. I always love when the babies do their threaten calls. More call. He's like, how could you? Ooh. Reminds me of like, uh, if you've ever had a sibling, they're like, they're touching me. Talk. Yeah, we got our clacking noise. Shake. A wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Not bad. Look around. Very pink panthery. And again, our invite is the same as our two call. Let's go through the animations right quick. First, we have walk. I like the animation for it. He's very slow for a baby, though. Like, this guy is absolutely going to get snatched. Run! <laughs> oh, no. Alright, let's see if we have a jump. Oh, we do, and it's pretty high. I like that. I honestly love the jump animation. Kind of looks like he's going to dive into the water. Uh, sit. Oh my gosh, he turns the tail into a platform and the tip actually still moves like that skinny part. I don't know what that's for, but that's wild. Sleep. <laughs> the belly flop. I remember this one. Okay, it was in my last video. Very cute in our get up. There we go. At least sitting and getting up is pretty easy. All right, here's our adult model. It looks 
great it's very good the back is super detailed right here and then i like the face if you get really close to it right here around the eyes the beak he's he's a lot bigger than the baby like massively bigger than the baby all right let's go through the animations right quick here's our walk Ooh, a wiggle i love wiggles and walks i don't know why it kind of looks a little goofy but it's probably because of course he's like semi-aquatic so of course he's gonna look a little weird on land but it's perfect it goes right with this guy's personality run it's the forward lean we got here again not super fast jump uh it's about as tall as like the baby can jump so you don't jump any higher once you're an adult which is okay all right let's take a seat here there we go flatten out tail we still got the bow on the end uh sleep bloop look at him look at him sleep like that it's wild how they keep that inflated his eyeballs are open though <laughs> get up Ooh, I actually like the way they get up. It's like a backward shimmy instead of just like a reversed animation. Let's see if we have a crouch. What we do? Oh, we go completely vertical here. Oh my God. It looks good though. I actually like it a lot. It's very fitting. Crouch walk. Swishy tail. Very leaf shaped tail. It's pretty slow. About as slow as the walk actually, but it's, it's fine. Crouches aren't really supposed to be fast. Now we're gonna do our precise movement. <laughs> it's still a waddle in place, but it is pretty fast. So this is really good. If it is a like a defensive creature, then this will be really good for it. If not, then I wouldn't bother, you know? Let's stick our back. I would like this to be a little bit faster, the backwards wiggle. Our side shuffle to the right this too just because it's medium sized here's our disturb bro animation Ooh, he's very bendy very stretchy oh what was that a squeak are you terrified of what's coming out oh okay all right here's our eating animation oh oh okay i guess he was like sniffing or inspecting it before eating it all right here's our drink animation Ooh, he takes a sip and gulps it all the way down. You could actually see it travel through the throat pouch there. Here's our swim animation. Ooh, he's actually really fluid in the water. The tail looks super useful. Uses his hands too. Up and down paddle motion. You don't see too much from the top except for like the end bit of the tail that comes up. Our speed swim. He's pretty fast in the water. I actually appreciate this speed quite a lot. It's really nice. I think it's perfect. He's not too fast, but he's also not too slow. Like, I mean, he's very fast, but. All right, we're gonna go through these skins right quick. Remember, this is our default male skin. So it has the blue here instead of all green which the female skin will have. Next we have platypus, very nice. Blue tail, salamander, tree frog, oh my gosh. I don't know why that happens. Something with the green not working here. Emperor, whale shark, kappa, toxic, poison dart, sitana, albino, and melanistic. Honestly, for the most part, these are really, really good. There's just some kind of issue here. It's only really in this screen where you can't see the green and some of the skins here. So other than that, though, I actually like almost actually all of them. Mm, this is the only one I probably don't like that much, but the rest of them really good. I like it a lot. All right, let's check out the abilities right quick. We have our totems, which like usual balance stat. And then we have hunter with the mighty power of a hunter you can outrun your enemies increase land speed by five percent increase swimming speed by five percent and then increase ten percent health recovery these are all really good i like it they're also different than what they used to be because i think you used to get like a debuff as well instead of just a added positive buff we have one head slot we have bite gigamandra have deceptively strong bite for its size thanks to the coral it eats high damage oh okay base tank 
Take 30% reduced damage for hits to your head, neck, and chest. Interesting. For Giga Mandra, I wonder what about them is supposed to give them the face tank ability. Because they don't seem like very tanky, right? For our senses, we have one slot. We have pod migration. Giga Mandra are known to travel in groups where they will socialize and play with each other. Increase speed by 2.5% for each Giga Mandra in the group and stack up to four times so you basically get like a 10 percent increase in speed that's wild they're already really fast nobody's gonna be able to catch them if you get this full stack up hydrated body when giga mandra are fully hydrated they move faster on land 10 percent increase the land speed and decrease thirst strain by 50 percent when wet Ooh, this is perfect the only slight thing that i was worried about is pretty much canceled out by these uh, abilities that we have so far. Metabolism, herbivore, able to eat berries and fruit, moderate food drain, and then pescatarian. Gigamandra are classed as herbivores, but they're known to eat shellfish to get calcium and eat shellfish and berries, but faster food drain. All right, we have our hide here. Toxic mucus. Gigamandra have the ability to produce a toxic mucus on their skin to deter predators from attacking. Attackers take poison damage. Ooh, okay. I don't know why, but I had the feeling it was gonna be more of a healer, but since it looks like a platypus and platypus are actually venomous poisonous venomous one of those two i always get the two mixed up but yeah since it looks like that that makes a lot of sense and then we have streamlined which increases your swim speed and swim turning by 10 percent. we honestly don't need this much swim speed so far at least with everything that we have in game but I'm glad for it. I will never say it's a bad thing. Legs, we have Breach. Giga Mandra are known to jump out of the water like dolphins. So I guess it just doesn't do any damage, unlike some other abilities with a similar name. Our back limb, we have Webbed Feet. Increase swim speed by 10% and decrease swim stamina by 20%. Swim stamina is definitely something that I would say yes to with Giga Mandra. But we're going to be like absolute bullets playing this thing. Land Lover. Although Giga Mandra are semi-aquatic, some are known to live their lives on land. This makes them faster than those who live in the water. Increases land speed by 10% and increases stamina drain by 20%. Oh, oh no. Tail. Tail slap. Giga Mandra uses his massive tail to smack predators that chase it. Medium damage that does knock back. That's pretty good, and I think that actually makes sense the way their tail looks. It's a lot flatter. It'll probably go down. We'll see. <laughs> then, you know, like a side to side ability. We have two voice calls. Okay, here we go. Soothing Melody. Giga Mandra are known for their ability to make a soothing sound that other animals find relaxing. Increases the heal rate of all party members within. 30 meters for 40 seconds. I want to know how much the heal rate is increased, but we can always just test that out. Primal Melody. Giga Mandra likes to make a series of soothing sounds that help it relax. Increases your healing rate by eight times. There we go. For 25 seconds. That's pretty good. I think that's one of those abilities that you can actually use while in combat. So the combat timer is not going to affect that. It might be different for this one, but that's what this ability usually does for other dinos. Intimidating Howl decreases the nearest creature's damage by 30% and adds five seconds onto all enemy cooldowns for 15 seconds. That's really good. I will absolutely be using that in my kit. Fortifying Bellow. When Giga Mandra makes a deep bellow sound, it means they are ready to stand their ground. Increases armor for all group members within 30 meters by 25% for 40 seconds. That's really good too. Shoot, I'm not gonna be the support Giga with this. Oh my gosh. These are really great. I like them a lot. All right, and we're gonna go through the ability animations right quick. First, we have Bite. It's a pretty quick snappy thing. Considering it does high damage, the cooldown on this is insane. Then we have Tail Slap. Oh, it is a side to side Tail Slap. I wouldn't say I love that. Mm, yeah, I thought it would be more of an up down Tail Slap. It's not terrible, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys Breach. I also have all the speed abilities on so I can show you guys what we look like with our max speed. The only thing I'm missing is I would have like 8% more speed with a pack, like a full group. So I just want to show you guys, this is Breach right here. Woohoo, look at that height. It's so good. Oh my God. The height on there is absolutely insane. You could absolutely just travel like this and escape, but yeah. You can be absolutely the fastest thing in the lake. All right, next we have our voice abilities. First, we have Primal Melody. Ooh. Oh, I love the VFX for that. That it was perfect. The game is actually gonna start implementing a lot more VFX. They wrote that in their last 
TLC update if you guys haven't seen that yet. So the fact that this already has that, they're already ahead of the game and it looks really nice. This next one is Soothing Melody. It is basically one of those abilities that you can't use unless you're in a group. So I'm going to do my call here, right here. It both looks and sounds very good. And then we're gonna check Doc J's health and you're gonna see it slowly go up. This call actually lasts for a long time. So if he was laying or sitting down, it would probably heal him almost completely full. But this is exactly why you want to use this as a support kind of dinosaur in the game. I just have to bring up really quick how much I love the voice call icons right here. Like this is intimidating how, look at how scared this guy is right here. I don't know what that is, maybe a Serato. But, and then this one, his like throat sack is inflated and stuff is bouncing off of it. I love it so much. Our next one is intimidating howl. Whoa. That's so good. It does still sound like Dina Kairos. It really does. I'm sure you guys hear it too, or either that or I'm crazy, but it looks awesome. I love the VFX for it. That's absolutely perfect. It fits in the game very much. The emote itself is very much in line with Gigamandra's personality. It's very great. So I love the voice calls. They're my favorite so far. Lastly, we have Fortifying Bello. It is another group ability. It looks and sounds really awesome. I love the tail slam there and the sound and the little wiggle at the end. I think the VFX is really good. But yeah, guys, I have a really great opinion of Gigamandra. Like, it flies, it's fast, it does apparently pretty decent damage, and it's got all these really cool emotes and animations. The only thing that I had any issue with was I thought this land speed was a little slow, but you got plenty of abilities to deal with that, so it seems very intentional. I honestly find this to be one of the better mods that they've made. It's actually probably going to be one of my favorites, personally. So I really do enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoy it too. That's all I have to say about it. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, check out my other videos. I cover a lot of different mods, especially mods that Ancient Monster Mods has made themselves or Primordial Tyrants, any of those other uh, modding communities. I also cover games that is not Path of Titans that you might enjoy. So again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you in the next video.